Employees across the country are tired of woke workplaces, and one organization is actually doing something about it. It's called Color Us United, and they are hosting their first ever web fest for employees against wokeness. Our next guest is headlining the event, the author of the upcoming book, Nation of Victims and Strive Asset Management Executive Chairman, Vivek Ramswamy, and he joins us now. Vivek, always great having you on the show. So, so many employees feel captive in their, in, in their workplaces. A lot of it is coming from the HR department. What can an, an employee do if they're in a corporation that they feel they can't be themselves or say what they think or they feel captive in some way to these woke policies? So look, I think that employees today have a civic duty and a duty to their companies to speak their minds openly. Because Rachel, I can tell you, there has never been a time in my adult life where there has been a bigger gap between what people were willing to say in private and what people yes. were willing to say in public. And I just think that is such an indictment of our civic culture. And I'll tell you something, I think the diversity of thought is really important in corporate America. I think innovation depends on it. I think our culture depends on it. Yet the odd thing is, in the name of diversity of thought, we have actually sacrificed it in the name of this new capital D diversity movement. And so the goal of this event, the reason why I agreed to speak when Kenny, the founder of the organization, asked me to, to headline this was that, you know what, I think a lot of this can be done in a bottom-up way where employees can recreate that culture in their place of work by just speaking their minds openly. I think that's the goal we're trying to drive. I think it's great, but you have to admit, Vivek, there are consequences to that. If you speak your mind, and I think everyone should, and I think it's a great thing to do, but let's, let's be honest, it means you might not rise up in, in the, the corporate ladder. It's even worse than that. I mean, many employees over the last couple of years have been fired for taking the yeah. wrong, wrong political position, for saying the wrong thing. And, and I think America is not a place that's supposed to force you to choose between putting food on the dinner table and speaking your mind openly between the American dream and the First Amendment. We are the country where you get to enjoy both of those things at once. And so, look, I think a lot of this is driven top down by yeah. the shareholders of these companies. I've talked about that extensively. But I do think there's a call to action for employees that, yes, it may involve some level of risk but that's why we're getting a full group of people together to say that if everyone does this together yes. that can actually drive a change in culture and help the courage be as infectious as the culture of fear has been over the last few years so we've got talk to me a little bit about this webinar what do you hope to achieve in this webinar both yourself as a speaker and color us united Look, I hope to leave people with the sense that they're not really alone, actually. There's a, there's a great obsession in corporate America today with making sure the executive ranks and the boards of directors look like the rest of the way America looks, without at all focusing on whether they actually think the way the rest of America yes. thinks, which I think is actually more important. And so my goal is to really say that, you know what, if you're the only person in the room who has a point of view, you have an obligation to speak up, but my commitment to you in return is that when you do, you're probably gonna find that you weren't the only person in the room that had that point of view as well. And I've been telling employees that one at a time, but now if we're able to say it in a, in, on a national basis as a large group, I hope we can together drive the kind of positive cultural change that actually breaks down barriers between people, reopens dialogue, and that's actually what brings us together, not reciting some slogan that the Human Resources Department taught you to say. Vivek. We love you because you are so courageous and we do have a crisis of courage in our, in our country right now and hopefully this webinar might be the beginning for um, employees realizing, as you said, that there's a lot more of them that think that way than, than, um, than think the way their HR departments or their corporate boards think. Thank you so much, Vivek. I, good luck with this webinar. Uh, tell us again where people can go to. It's, it, you easily find it. It's Color Us United's national webinar, first, first annual one. You can Google it. It's also on the, on, on the website of the organization. I'm looking forward to keynoting the beginning of it. And, and I hope this is just the beginning of a broader cultural movement, more importantly, across the country. So Me thanks too. a lot. Me too, Vivek. Good luck.